The term negative reinforcement is called negative because it's about removal. It's based on the mathematical construction of the word negative. It's really not at all about something that's really terrible for the horse, something that's, uh, that really hurts him. It, it can be, but it shouldn't be. It should be something that the horse finds just something that it wants to remove, something a little bit irritating. For example, with lead rein pressure, in the beginning we might have to use a larger pressure, but in the end, just simply moving a hand forward should be enough and back to start and stop the horse. Okay, back. And these pressures are fundamental to training and that's really what we're all about in ESI is teaching people how to use pressures well and recognising that it's the removal of the pressure that reinforces or rewards the behaviour. Therefore, when we ride, all of our aids not only shrink down to very light rein aids and very light leg aids, the journey continues until the horse is controlled also by postural cues of the rider. So the transformation from negative reinforcement to these uh, postural cues, uh, and that could be the same when we're leading, we can use voice aids, all of those sorts of benign signals to the horse in the end have meaning because they originally attach to something that is based on a reinforcer. And in this case, in in terms of equitation, it's about uh, pressures from the lead rein or from the rider's reins or the rider's legs. So whatever we do with horses, we should be able to move him in the end with just like pressures and say, okay, back, back, good boy. And so that when we get the result from an immediate result from a light aid, we can then reward him with positive reinforcement. And this is the ideal way to do it, is to scratch here. Because that's ultimately something that the horse finds really soothing and relaxing. And it's a very useful positive reinforcement because the horse doesn't become satiated by that. Whereas um, other forms, for example, like food, the horse can become a bit more satiated. And some horses um, can become a little bit hyper aroused as well if we use too much food. So this is useful, it's also a great place for riders because it's just in front of your hands when you ride the horse.